so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where... This is not over. Okay, look. We've both done a lot of bad things. Let's just agree to call this one a tie, okay? This can't end in a tie. Where? Is my son? I'm right here. Baldin! It would bring me immense joy to spill your son's blood. I find his attitude incredibly irksome. Your move, Hala. If you need suggestions, dropping your weapon might be a good place to start. You may have destroyed my ship and stolen the Eternity Forge, but I still have my armada surrounding us. Unless you have a weapon that can destroy all of them, I still have the advantage. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pete, you're not serious. For once, he does not look like he is joking. Well, that's where you're wrong, Hala. I do have a super weapon. <laughs> where? You're standing inside it. Accuser! The Celestial! It seems to be reacting. What are your orders? Continue firing! Stand down! Ugh. You have turned my own blood against me! He has forgotten what it means to be Kree! Me? I am thinking clearly! You are out of control! There will be no glory for the Kree Empire if we are all dead! Baldin is trying to save you! To save all of you! And what do you think I have been doing? For years! I have revived our civilization from the ashes! And I will lead them to glory once again. We were born into war. We are not afraid of one Celestial. Star-Lord, listen to me. Let me lead the Kree instead. You? Lead the Kree? Don't be ridiculous, Baldin. You are much too naive. Under my rule, the Kree would have a chance at normal lives. Instead of being in perpetual war. War is normal. It is in the blood of all beings, whether they admit it or not. Death only brings more death. I am group. Your weakness will corrupt our people and lead to their downfall. Everyone deserves a second chance, and that starts with Baldin. He should lead the Kree. <sighs> Thank... Thank you. How dare you! I refuse to hand my title over to a child! The thought is preposterous! Surely letting me take command of the Kree is preferable to our extinction! This is the deal, Hala. Step down, or watch an angry celestial head obliterate your armada. Take it or leave it. You know the consequences. You'll just have to trust me. This is the only deal you've got. Then it seems we are at an impasse. Diplomacy requires trust. And I have none for you. Balden! You have been swayed so easily by these miscreants. 
You are a fool if you think you can lead the Kree. You're right, Mother. I was a fool. I was a fool for thinking you could ever change. Sweet one, I... I... Did this all... <coughs> for you? No. You did it for you. I was merely the excuse. The Kree Empire will regain its glory. But it will be without you. Hey. Are you, uh... Are you okay? No. But I believe now. Our people will be. In time. This is Balden. All of the accuser is dead. All ships stand down. We are going home. The accuser? She is dead? How is that possible? Cease fire! All ships stand down! My mother was beyond hope. I could see that she would never relent, that she would only bring endless war to our people in the name of progress or redemption or glory, or whatever lie she told herself. My people owe you a great debt they can never repay. <sighs> it will be a long road. But I will show the galaxy that the Kree can be trusted from now on. Not feared. For what it's worth, I think the Kree have a real chance at progress with you at the helm. I think so too. Thank you, Star-Lord. I hope next time we meet, it will be under better circumstances. did it. Hall is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? We saved lives, Gamora. If we hadn't done what we did, a lot more innocent people would be dead right now. You're right. I think I could use a drink. I am Root. Yeah. Let's go. Hello? You guys still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey! Can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Hey, guys gotta pay the bills. Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. <laughs> what is this? It tastes...
he's terrible. I <laughs> am Groot. Mmm, <sighs> tastes like victory. Victory tastes like burning. All right, fill her up. Actually, the forge is already full. There's still a charge in it, but its power is fading. It can only be used for one more revival. I'm sorry. It won't be able to bring back all your loved ones. I am Groot. Groot says you should use the forge for your mom. I am Groot. Since you got us back together. <laughs> I am Groot. You made us a... Oh man, he's using the F word again. Wait. <laughs> what about you guys? I mean, you all lost someone close to you. The forge was severely damaged when you crashed the Revenant into nowhere. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'm not sure I need it anymore. Then again, Drax lost his daughter. Seems pretty important to bring her back. Yes, but the cyborg was Gamora's true kin. It should be her. Ah, oh, for the thousandth time, her name's Nebula. Yes, the cyborg Nebula. Thank you, Drax. What about Lila? You loved her. Guess I'm done being the selfish one. Really, Drax, it should be you. It should be you! After everything we've been through, are we seriously still arguing? No, we're just agreeing strongly. This is an anti-argument. I just got one of those voices that always sounds like I'm angry. Oh, yeah, I guess so. There isn't much time left. The forge is... dying. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I think we should resurrect Nebula. Are you sure? Yeah. I believe in second chances. Thank you. Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of Nebula, the moment when you two were happiest. It on me? I'm so happy to have you back. You're happy? I am. The forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do. Now that I am finally free of it, my life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel... okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. I can feel only what I want to. Feel my own emotions. For once. You can do whatever your heart desires. The world is your oyster, Mantis. I don't understand your meaning. But your feelings are hopeful, genuine, encouraging. It feels good to feel these feelings. My head finally feels clear. Thank you, Peter, for all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? 
everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together, after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. But somehow, you pulled us through. I mean, I didn't exactly do it on my own. I'll take some credit. Yeah, some. A bit. Just a, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. How about a refill? My hero. Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. Nebula, don't be antisocial. Come join us. Uh, I don't like parties. Me either. But you're with us now. You better get used to them. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To the best family a guy could ask for. Strangest looking one in the galaxy. Hey, I'll take it. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Eh, the galaxy can wait. Yeah. We gotta have a real celebration. For once. This intoxicating fluid has made me want to fight things. Please, let me fight things! Mm-mm. I am Groot! Sounds like fun. Count us in. <laughs> 